Welcome to Vaping Today. My name is Johnny, and today we're talking about the theory of a vaping gateway effect. Is it a true issue, or is it based on unreliable research manipulated by anti vaping activists? The vaping gateway effect is a theory which suggests that young people begin vaping and then move on to smoking. Vaping is generally associated with being a gateway out of smoking for adults, as e-cigs are a much safer way for people to satisfy their nicotine cravings, so smokers use them as a way to stop smoking. However, in the United States there have been claims for a number of years that teens and young people are getting their hands on an e-cigarette, then later moving on to traditional cigarettes. These claims are based on a number of potentially dubious studies and have led to hysteria in the USA. So when we scratch beneath the surface, is there really any truth in the claims? In the USA, youth vaping rates have experienced a rise, which has sparked concerns for some people. However, in the same time in which vaping rates have risen, smoking rates have reduced. In fact, smoking rates in high school students are at an all-time low. This is hardly indicative of a gateway from vaping into smoking. If vaping rates and smoking rates were rising simultaneously, then yes, there would be cause for concern. However, they are not. Nevertheless, it is important to understand if some young people are vaping and then moving on to smoking. Arguably, the most comprehensive study to date was published in March 2020 by leading UK researchers Dr. Leon Shahab, Dr. Emma Beard and Dr. Jamie Brown. The trio explored data in a way which hadn't been done before, accounting for key variables which have proven to be serious limitations in previous research. The researchers wanted to uncover whether initiation with e-cigarettes was leading to a continued smoking habit and how significant this apparent gateway is compared with other tobacco related products. The conclusion of this research is potentially the most convincing debunking of the gateway theory ever performed. The findings show that vaping is not only not a gateway into smoking, but actually suggests that initiation with e-cigarettes protects against future established smoking in young people. This was uncovered as the researchers looked at future smoking habits as only being an issue if the participant became an established smoker. This is in contrast to a number of previous studies which class ever smoking, even a single puff of a cigarette after vaping first, as being an issue and therefore suggested a gateway theory. By separating this experimental smoking from established smoking, the research showed that young people who have not tried vaping are three times more likely to move from occasional smoking to habitual smoking. Furthermore, the conclusions read, less than 1% of US adolescents who use e-cigarettes first were established cigarette smokers. They were less likely to be smokers than adolescents who tried other combustible or non-combustible tobacco products first and propensity score matched adolescents without initial e-cigarette use. So in summary, the threat of a gateway theory seems to be an unquantifiable concept with the studies which support it being based on unreliable evidence which has some important limitations. The studies which account for these limitations show that the true gateway into habitual smoking is experimentation with tobacco cigarettes and not e-cigarettes. In fact, initiation with e-cigarettes appears to protect against a future smoking habit.